my first skill was typing, and then I added to that shorthand, and then after being a typist in an insurance company, home insurance company, I uh, became a secretary. And my longest, uh, two longest jobs were with the foreign, general foreign freight agent of the Norfolk and Western Railroad, and also um, in some of the war years, I was uh, a secretary to a um, shipping agent at the British Ministry of War Transport in New York, all in New York. But while this is going on, I'm at night uh, going to classes, acting classes. Um, there were several groups established themselves in New York uh, when Off-Broadway was a dream, really, but they came in and uh, established these groups. I would say that the most important one to me, which gave me a very great deal of training, was the American Actors Company. One of the founders of that was Horton Foote, uh, Mary Hunter, and uh, Agnes DeMille was a sponsor of it too, and others whose names probably uh, wouldn't be uh, recognized in this industry. Um, but great uh, teachers and great actors and directors, I owe them a great deal. I did a lot with the uh, American Actors Company here and there, dance, a dance uh, play in which Valerie Bettis danced and I was an offstage voice, but that wouldn't be a theatrical debut. Well, the one that in the professional world that strikes me as the right candidate answer is the uh, Actors Equity, uh, Equity Theater. Actors Equity, the uh, union um, produced and uh, made it possible for uh, showcases to be done all over New York and it started in libraries. That's why it, it had its name, Equity Library Theater. And that was my showcase. However, I had done uh, summer stock too. Every summer I left the job I was in and went and did summer stock, came back to New York and got another job. That went on for about oh, eight years or so. And then you do part-time work as you gradually begin to assemble some, uh, uh, some uh, notoriety as being around and available. In New York, the actors go and visit the offices of the agents to see, or at that time we did, to see what was being cast. So you used a lot of shoe leather. And uh, you form a, a network of uh, people and you work in these places off Broadway and you meet actors and they often have an idea. And uh, Herd Hatfield, a famous, the famous actor, was very helpful to me in uh, placing me in my first Broadway show. But before that, I had toured in, uh, in a couple of plays, uh, tours that left Broadway and went on the road. First Broadway show was In the Summer House by Jane Bowles. It was a play ahead of its time. Uh, she really wrote in the what they called the Theater of the Absurd. It was... Uh, short-lived but by the playwright produced by the playwrights company and it uh, brought me a great deal of attention because I had a very nice part which is it's a great showcase for me and that led to many other things I was the um, owner of a an oyster bar and uh, I was behind the bar it was a one scene part but it had practically uh, pages of a monologue, and uh, I uh, rendered advice to uh, the two leading women who were in it, and one was Judith Anderson, and the other was Mildred Dunnock, outstanding actors, and it just uh, opened the doors for me.